Um, obviously, it was tough times for me for when I, when it first happened. Um, it's tough at the minute because obviously not being in football, I'm not having the physiotherapy that I, I should really be having. But my mindset is to to get back ASAP when we're back in, in training and and um, keep progressing. Obviously, it's hard because we haven't got the facilities either with the gym shut, but. Um, for my motivation, I've been going out cycling and doing lots of squats, lunges um, and little exercises that the physio has been giving me. Um, playing for England Sea was a proud moment for me and my family. Um, obviously, we're a big footballing family, so you, you all probably know that Harry played for the, the first team as well. So It's obviously sometimes hard to try and follow in his footsteps, but he's obviously proud of me and I'm proud of him as well. Um, yeah, it's, it's always something that I've always wanted to do. As soon as the club came into the conference, it was one thing that I wanted to try and achieve was try and get an England seat uh, cap and the caption the side was, was a great achievement. Yeah, um, we've all grown up as a big footballing family, not just football, but all of the sports as well. And, We've always been very competitive. Um, I think that must have come from my dad because he's always played football throughout his career as well when he was younger. Um, regarding the question who was, the, who was the best growing up, I'd say we were all as good as each other. Um, we, we were all very competitive, tackling in the garden, practicing every day. But yeah, we, we all wanted the same dreams and, and obviously Harry's done the best at the minute but you never know what can happen from here. Uh, for me, the best player at Chesterfield, I'd have to say Liam Mandeville. Um, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a player that likes, likes a football with my team, um, and I think Mandy is, is that type of guy who, who can get on the, get on the ball and, and make things happen. Um, if you find him in that little pocket of hole, he can always, always get an assist or, or a little goal. So yeah, I'd say Liam Mandeville is the best player. Obviously it's really tough with me with activities, what I can be doing and what I can't be doing because of my knee injury, but recently I've just started to get on, on, the, on the bike and for my hourly daily exercise through this, through this terrible time, through coronavirus, I've been going out on the bike for an hour and trying to get my exercise in that way. Yeah, obviously advice from Harry is massive for me in my career. Um, he comes to a lot of games at Chesterfield and, and every time he comes he gives me a phone call on the way home um, and he tells me what I've done wrong, what I've done well and what I can improve on. So I always try and listen to him and, and I'm the same with him really. I always give him a text after each game or, or maybe a phone call and I always say to him what he can do well and, and, and what he can do better at. So yeah, it, it worked, both, worked both ways really but obviously with him playing at the top level is it, some great advice coming from him. Obviously it's been hard this year with Easter with not seeing like your friends and your family so I've had a couple, mum and dad got me one and my girlfriend and my auntie and uncle but I'd say, I'd say my favourite Easter egg is uh, a Malteser Easter egg. Um, if I could play for any other team apart from Chesterfield I'd have to say Manchester United. Um, obviously you all know Harry played for Manchester United and he's the captain there now, so yeah, I'd like, it's obviously the theatre of dreams as well, the stadium, Old Trafford, everything about it, the size of the club, I'd probably say it's the biggest, biggest club, one of the biggest clubs in the world, so yeah, I'd like to play for Manchester United. Um, for me, obviously, last year I played in a few different positions under the old, under the old manager, um, but I'd say my, my best position, my favourite position is, a, is, is as a left side of centre half and I feel like I can grow in the game there and maybe get, get better and better. At the start of a football game, um, I've always been that type of player who, who has a few nerves, um, but nerves are, nerves are sometimes good for you. I still speak to my brother about that and he's always got nervous before a game. So. For me, I, I feel the same. Um, also, when you, when you first walk out and you see the fans clapping you, you start getting an adrenaline buzz. 
and you can't wait to start the game. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a proud moment for me always every time I walk out to that Chesterfield pitch. For me, my favourite moment as a, as a Chesterfield player would have to be my debut. Um, obviously, it was in League One at the time and, and it's always a proud moment for, for not just me but also my family to see, to see me out on that pitch. Um, yeah, I really, really enjoyed that moment. Also, I'd say my first goal for Chesterfield was a big moment for me. Yeah, as a family, we're all really proud of what, what Harry's done with the community in, in delivering these food parcels for, for the elderly. It's a very tough time for everyone at the minute with, with the coronavirus, but for him to do something and to do something like that and give something back, it's massive. Um, he's only been doing it for uh, this last week and we've had a lot of thank you cards coming through the post and, and you can see how much it means to people so yeah we are really really proud of what he's been doing and yeah he's, for me I've been helping him as well little things delivering them and, and getting people's names down and it, it's, it's, it's nice to be involved with him as well. At the moment, it's, it's tough for me to do any kick-ups. Um, I've been tagged in a few challenges on, on Instagram and Facebook, stuff like that, but I can't really do it. So I'd say when I'm fit, um, I'd like to be in and around the 200 mark or maybe more. I haven't really done it for a few years, but yeah, it's, it's tough at the minute with, with my injury. In a Royal Rumble, um, we've got some quite big lads in our team, but for me, I think Mike Bondup would be the one who, who would win the Royal Rumble. You see him every day in the changing rooms doing his press-ups and his sit-ups, so yeah, I wouldn't really want to get go near Mike in, in, in the ring. And also, I just want to say thank you for following the government advice. Stay at home and stay safe. Protect our NHS.